Hi, so this is Sierra West. This is a solo playthrough and this is mode three. This is Gold Rush. So they found some apples then they managed to get some uh, better food and get some fish. And now they've actually struck gold. They have found uh, what they've really come to look for, which is obviously uh, what's been um, rumoured to be in these mountains in the Sierra West. And I'll just read the paragraph, which is Eureka, gold has been discovered. People from near and far have caught the gold bug and are headed to the hills to stake their claims. In this mode, you can mine for gold and lead it to your carts. If you have trouble finding nuggets among the shallows, from the shallows and rocks, you can use your trusty lantern or stick or two of dynamites to blast them all together. So, solo playthrough, we have the cards here. This is going to be Hastings again. Got a new card, which basically could be giving him um, dynamite, lantern, a cart. So, uh, I've already mentioned when I did the original how to play of the game that uh, this is one of my favourite modules. And uh, hopefully this is a way of showing you, you know, maybe why um, I kind of like it and maybe why you might like it too. Still to come will be module four, but let me just show you how I've set it up. So we've got uh, the cabin, we've got Hastings, which you're gonna have here. I'm gonna be down here, my special card, we have the Marmot, uh, Marmot, it looks a bit like a meerkat. I uh, spent any three resources to get a mining cart. So in a two player game or a solo game, you're gonna have eight carts. You're gonna have more carts, more players, so it's 10 or 12 in the three and then four respectively. And I need to be gaining these. I do not get them initially. I'm not leaving them in a little um, cup case for the time being. They're going to be here. We have the typical four things for Hastings. We have my typical four things here. And here's the Marmot. He can give me either Dynamite or the Lantern. So he's going to go face down. Here are the two cards in question. If you get this card at any time, you can convert two stone to gold. These cards are mainly, I think, uh, stone and gold. I haven't looked at these ones. I'm just going to show you basically what's going to be uh, placed down here. And what you have here is lots of gold to move up the wagon. Great on that. Getting yourself a cart. So you do need a cart in a two player game. If you struggle to be able to have the right stuff at the right time, you might be losing some points. I'll come on to more about carts in a moment. Lots of gold and lots of stone, a massive stone and gold game. So because of that, and based on when I play this two player, I have got out some extra ones of these because we definitely ran out before. Playing it kind of solo, I'm thinking we might not need these, but this is just a backup. So I always pack um, this particular one. As I do, I bag them up individually per mode to see what we need. Lantern, this is very interesting. So this is what I mentioned. We're gonna layer this up and you're gonna place the level two ones on this kind of level two tier, another layer of these cards, and then we're gonna have level one. So level two cards will have something like this. You will do the mining action. As long as you have the lantern, uh, you can see two gold, so you can basically potentially claim that. It's a dark mine. This is a light mine, a lit mine, and we have a die in here, and basically you could be converting gold for rubble or stone. So you're losing gold, but of course you could be using that uh, stone to do other stuff. Now what could happen is you actually gain loads of gold, and basically it's the remaining stuff. So you could be gaining six, this is where it gets very confusing, this card. This is the starting card, in fact. And what it means is if you happen to have six gold when you went mining, you roll a five or a six, that means you're quite unlucky, and you actually have to convert three of those back to stone. So basically it means you've blown up and got a lot of rock and gold, but you'd rather try and roll a one or a two, get mainly gold, because you're not having to convert as much back. So it's a bit strange how it's almost saying you've seen what you think was gold, but turned out not to be the case. So a higher number is a worse thing. The ones, um, similar, you just get a single kind of thing, but you're getting a two maybe, or whatever it might be, on uh, the level two cards. So you'll shuffle those up and do that. Uh, the tracks, so I've got all these uh, set up as well. Um, at the end of the game, you're gonna get three victory points for the lantern, three victory points for the dynamite. So with uh, Hastings, that's in any game, obviously, especially a two player game, it's a net difference. So bearing that in mind. Um, no longer any fish, so I've put those back away in the fish canoe pot. So the canoes I've also taken out of this bag. You may have seen me try and pack that away. Level one cards come up, so they're gonna go here. And I do know based on the size of this board, um, you won't see the top two cards, but here they are. And I think quite quickly they're gonna go away. 
and we can see some other stuff. So just plonking them at the top. But this way you kind of can see my cabins. While I go for cabins, let's see what comes up. Um, I've got my four relevant things here. That shouldn't be face up visible. And I think in boats and banjos, I forgot to remove the rightmost cabin when Hastings took something. So we always begin first. Uh, Mule is obviously uh, no one starts off with. So I'm going to shuffle up my cards and see what I get. This card can be Hastings. We shouldn't need it off to the side. Basically, it's just the kind of stuff we can get. Um, and let's begin. So one, two, three cards. I've got this. Don't think I'll do my bear action early on. I probably will stick that there. Do I need the mule early on? Probably not either. Might even gain the mule doing my little thing. I think that action looks good. Getting some boots, but then covering that off. Um, let's go for that. Okay, so let's start moving across. Nothing to trap because I'm kind of going first. I'm not sure, I don't know if it's not action. I can see his card first. It doesn't really relate to it, but I'll play that I can't play that card yet. Especially so far, the score was quite favourable to me last time. Move across one. I'm going to... Uh, I've got no resources. I'm going to move him as well. Two. Maybe make this more of a quieter game and just see what you think. So I will have gone up one. One, two. One again. First of any golds, do I have enough stuff? I do, I can get the mule. Let's dig. Um, just take it. Paying a resource. Tricky, because then I can't do any of the these actions anymore. Nothing to skin. Would that be a better thing? To have gone for the mule. Gone for the mule which would have given me a rock instead of nothing. I think for the first time I can do that. We'll take that back. I haven't paid my resource yet. So I'll keep doing this. Let's consider digging. So, two and two, so go one, two, basically there, get me the mule, got myself with this, didn't get that, got myself one piece of food, two pieces of food, spending one of them to dig it up, move it across, two stone, and move up. This time I can choose where to go up and this is where I don't need the mule anymore. I think we've got the middle track, brown. Again, boots. Oh, I know it knocked the chair. Right. Hastings, he's going to go. This deck is strangely all over the place. His first card is that. He's going to trap a fox. I don't think he pays any resources. I don't consider that. I don't think he does. Um, no, he just grabs it, that's what it did. Good. So now he's going to start going. So what is it triggering? Lots of wagon movement, it seems. No, just the one. One wagon movement. The ra random card. So I think it gets the thing of its choice. Uh, it's going to be the right-hand side, so it's going to take the nugget, it looks like. Let me just confirm that. Um... 
I think it is gonna be yeah, he takes his armor and like, he takes both. Wow. Um so it takes all of that and it takes a mining cart with two gold from general supply. So here's the gold cart, the mining cart. There's a limited supply, it's only gonna be eight, it takes a gold. Gold in a mine cart is worth three, both for Hastings and uh, myself playing. Let's just leave that in shot slightly. I'll leave it up here. Um he's got both of these cards, not that I needed them right now. And then it digs, it digs where it's at, which is the base. So it takes this card, keeps it, and then that goes away. And that comes out, so that goes across. And I get some food potentially in that, okay. I had a reset. Um, on my turn, I'm gonna think about trapping the beaver. No, sorry, the bear. So I'll trap the bear, spending a resource. I'm just going to spend food instead. And gain the beaver. Sorry, the bear. My turn. So that's going to go there next. Okay, wagon, we love the wagon. Don't need this anymore. I don't want to worry about the trapping. It's only going to give me, oh, it's going to give me gold. Give me some food, nourishment. Okay, so that's kind of in place, hopefully. I'm going to raise up this mountain now. One. Stone. Need some gold. Damn. Two bits of food. Da, da. What I choose to do is I choose to go to the top. I want tricky. Let's go for the wagon. Even though the cart is good. Let's go for the wagon. So spent all that. I'm gonna spend a resource and dig. Hmm. Which do I spend that? And dig up the card and stick it. I think at the bottom on the stack over here because I've not planning to get it right now. I think I spent a resource. Grab two resources. This card will flip and come down. Got quite a lot of resources. Do I dig again? That card flips over. Can't dig. Oh, can move one. I think we've got the wagon once. Keep efficiency going. Spending. I think I want to do that. Oh, that's better. Spending a resource up with the wagon and I don't have enough resources to do that. Then I move up. Oh. Then I gain a thing after all that. And now I've got enough to do this one or that one in fact. So he's gonna come up. One, two, move me up on here. Don't want to go too high after the last time. And I will Dig up this, I think. Inefficient though. I don't want to lose that one because it gives me lots of stuff. And then I can't trap him. And do I want the beaver? No, I choose not to take the cabin. And then it's me done. So, that's me done. Now we've got this going on. He's trapping, he's not trapping. Should have trapped before? He shouldn't have trapped before, apologies. So, um, he doesn't dig, he moves to the top on the rightmost card. He then moves up this track, I'll follow that and take a wood. Digs, 
He takes this card up. That's a victory point. Okay, then I reset. And I trap the beaver. Okay, three more cards. Movement of the thing, that should come out. Lots of booties. I do need to get three resources to get a cart and then I need to be sticking gold in it. I don't think I need a cart yet. Mining could be good, but I need to get up the trail. I don't have the right stuff for the minute. I'm going to stick to that. I'll try and get up the trail. Right, so... Um, down here I've got this uh, symbol here. Which I think means I can get past the thing by spending a gold. Let's double check that. When I go Tan Pioneer, use the shovel action. Gain a gold. Wow, Tan Pioneer. Right. So... Tan Pioneer, I want to be doing that. So I think I send this guy on here to gain a gold. Um, because I want some gold. So gain two things. Oops, some way around. Yep. Gain two bits of wood. Ah, oh, but he hasn't moved anywhere. Does he waste it by going at one instead? Shovel action. Could just claim this one instead. Let's do that. Claim that for one, spending a resource, gaining that, and gaining this. Moving that across. I'm going to go for a cabin strategy. Spending, getting another two. Can't gain that one this time. I think I waste it just to get that card. So do that to go up here, gaining that card, and this time I think I will. No, I don't think I'll keep it. And uh, I've gone here and spending another two resources. Um, which one do I want to go for? I want gold. Spending two resources to gain that and that. Now he's done. And now he comes up, and goes here. He moves up one position. Or he moves up. Hmm. Let me move across one. Then he spends two. He's going to get those things back in a second. Gains that back. Two in the cart. He's got nothing in the cart unless I gain a cart doing this one. Which I'll do. But then you can't then get them out of the cart. But I think it's worth doing. Do that. I have the mule. One, two, three. And then I've only got one gold. And then I'll leave it for the time being. Skip that. Move up again. One. Gaining one of them. And now I can start moving up. I'll do this one only, I think. Nah. Tricky. I'd rather have gone for the other one now. Let's just go for that one. Two and one. Get up another track. Gain a gold. Bring them back. Right, you're not trapping. You can't trap. Uh, that was a beaver. I've done the beaver. It's now this card. Uh, no trapping. Get the wild card, which is going to be getting this. It's already got them. Nothing happens. It traps. It skins. There's nothing it can skin. And it moves up the wagon again. And that's it done. And then it is going to be trapping next time. On the right hand side. Shuffle up all the cards. Right. More to skin. Got the mule, it's just a waste. I want to be digging and trapping again. Getting all that gold. Losing gold but gaining gold. Right, I think we'll do the same thing again. Get this guy moving. 
Uh, digging though, what's it going to be digging? It's useless. It's a waste to do him now. So I think we don't do anything, we just go across one. Oh, could I have trapped? Nothing to trap. So I go across one, go up here. Waste the mule. Up again. Can't dig. Not a waste of thing to get food. It's been an extra thing. I could have gone down there. Hmm. I'll just skip it all together. Extra resource. I do have quite a bit. No, we go on. One, two, two food. Skip the digging, come up. And this time I've got enough to do that and that. So we send them here and here. Or do I go here and go for the boots, which I would prefer to do. Um, I do have the three resources to go up to my boots. Nah, I'll leave it. So he goes up two and one, which is this one. Get the mule, spend it. Done that. Brown. Oh, good. That's all I wanted. Spend the two to go to the top. Worst case, I. Go back to the beginning again. Okay. Knowing that they won't be digging anyway. Could spend the cards. They're not, or they are trapping. They're trapping, I think it was the rabbit. Um, they go away. Hastings. Wagon. Food track. I will follow with one of my dudes. Doesn't matter which one at the moment. Uh, yeah, it'll be that one. Um, spending a food. No, again a food. Um, and I move to the top. Damn it. Then that will come over. Uh, nothing to trap that time. Three cards. Annoying bear skinner. Don't want it. Lots of stuff here. Definitely digging, so I'm gonna stick my green path on the tan track. Get two of them. Spending one of them. Dig up the card. Um, don't want it right now. I'll gain a gold. I'll gain a plane of boots. This card comes down. Have I made a mistake? No. That flips over. Okay, that's further down. Um, going to gain two more. Can't dig. That's like an extra thing. It's probably worth it now. I'll decide later. Hmm. Again, more gold. More gold spending resource. Two resources. No, skip it. He comes up. Up one. Let's stick him here. Food. Up one again. Nah, he he's not going to be up yet. He's going to go him up to the top. Spending. Oh, he's spending the right stuff. That and that. Sending this is wood. To go up here again. Gaining myself boots, spending the boots by going here. Can't then dig then. But I'll just stay there. Uh, then I've still got boots to spend. So I wouldn't have spent the boots. I'd have kept the boots. Just moved up one. 
gain a piece of wood. And then he comes up. And this time I got the wagon. Which is this one, which is this one. I can still do that one, which is two and that. Go up here, gain that. Done, they're not trapping. His turn, I'm definitely spending that to gain the fox. This goes away. Dig, they take that. I've lost that one, which is good. Moves to the top on the left. Um, does he get this action, which I can copy and gain a stone. He's trapping on the left, can I stop him? No. Um, mining isn't too bad. I wanna get some stuff out. Move more wagon trails, more boots, digging to the bottom, pickaxing, I think I'll do some pickaxing, but get the boots moving first. Nothing on this one, wow, crikey, Whew. that is bleak. I don't know if I want all of that. We'll do that mining action later. Loading the car top. I think that's better. Right, where am I? One away or two away. Um, I think we do stick this guy down here to get some extra gold. He's then going to get two. He's going to go to the top using the boots, getting this card. We want a cart, we'll stick to the top of the deck. I need to spend a resource though. I'll spend that resource, gaining a thing because of the cabin action. Doing the dynamite. Got to double check the dynamite one again. I was just um, exchanging stuff. Let me double check. Dynamite, here we go, just have on page, up the top. Again, dynamite, take the dynamite card from the supply. When you have the dynamite card, you can exchange two gold on stone. That's all it is. So it's just a three point swinger. So these this over to my side, so it's mine. Um, and that's it, it's not fantastic. And then do I want to pick a mine? Not right now, because I can get more stuff, but I need a lantern, so I might as well do it now. And I'm gonna gather everything with that mine picker up until that point. So, Mining, count the number of gold pieces on the mine cart on the trail. And we're ignoring the old one, you roll it. Good, okay, so this is worth it because I can gain two, three, four, five. I think it's gonna be a good time to do it. I'm gonna gain a gold. So I'm gonna go here, spending two resources, gaining a thing. Oh no, it's a different symbol. Um, but I am gonna be getting two, three, so I get five gold minus three. So I get two gold and three pits of clay. And clay is still good because I can still get carts with it. I'm going to then bring this guy out and move up one up the trail. This should have come over. So that's all up the same height. I move up one. I go across one. Gain a lantern, so that would have been handy. This time I can go a bit further and gain more from this trail, should I get that far. I end, uh, as I will be, I'll now send him here, spending two, to get the wagon again. Send him to go up and get more gold. And I use my mule to get myself a cart, because without a cart, this is worth three times more. So three things to gain a cart. Very pricey way of doing it, in fact, it'll be two and one. So I've got a thing left over. 
And now I've got myself a cart, which is good. I need some points. Done. He is trapping the fox. So they've got some points over there. This comes off. One, two, three cards. Let's get that ready in a second. They move up the wagon. They go up here. I follow it. I get myself the gold. Um, they move up on this one. I've taken the mule. Oh dear. Uh, nothing for me to take. Um, and they also got the top. They're already at the top. Nothing happens. So that's for me what they're doing next. I'm going to place my cards out. That's a good one to place because they're not going to nick anything. That will basically, this has got to go in the middle or to the right hand side. I want my stuff going in a cart, maybe later. Um, boots or picking axes. Um, I'm picking axes already. I'll go here. And I also want to probably use this one. All right, sending my green worker there, comes out. I can't move up anywhere though, which is a bit of a waste. Uh, and I can't pick anyway. The alternative is do I have them the other way around and then gains a rabbit. Ah, nothing happens. Okay, then I do do this. Spend a resource, but I don't have it because I don't have the um, but resources. So I do bring him up and I gain a thing. I load two into there. That's now worth six points. Waste this, or do I waste it? This is where I'm at the top. I now move across. I can't spend, I do spend the one resource to mine. Roll a die. It's a three, so I gain two, three, four, five, six. No, not this one. Five, which hopefully that right before. One, two, three, four, five, minus two for the stone. Converting two of that. Now I can go across. I think I spent the resource. Two of them. I think I want to dig up now. Dig up using, I want the mule back which is going to be a waste, but I then can convert. So it doesn't matter what I spend. Two of them to dig up this card and stick it. Let's stick it down here because now we're getting loads of gold. And now that's finished. Uh, that won't flip any cards over the minute. No. Go up one again. More stone. Now it's time to do stuff. I think we do this first to move up the mule, get the mule back. Hang on, did I just spend my stuff? I don't think I did. Go, what did I? That's annoying. The alternative would be, and I kind of got that now, never mind. So I've got to go here. To gain an extra cart. I can't now dig unless I take that one, which I'll do. So I'll dig, sending this guy here. Give me this. Gives me more food. And save me three points, which is better than a single gold, even though it's worth three here. That's me done. Dang. Uh, and I had a lit torch, so I would have had an extra gold. Not like I can do anything with it. I do have more stone. Not like I can do anything with them either. Done. Okay. So that's me done. Do they trap? They trap nothing. Wagon. Nothing.
Three cards. Okay. Two. Trapping. I'm getting quite a few bits now. And all the mule. Don't care about putting that there anymore. Pickaxing. Hmm. No, there we go. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Cover that and then get that. Or I stick that there. That that's better. Slightly. But then ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Right now what we'll do I can now get more food. Um Who do I send to the bottom? Definitely not him. So sending the tan path there. Getting two food because my cow can give me double. A load of cart, and I'll do that. Move up the mountain, one position. Uh, gain a gold. Move up the mountain again. Look at this guy. Pickaxe. So rolling a die. Roll a one. So this time I gain one, two, three, four, five, six. That's five. So we just start throwing in stuff. And that. Had a pay resource though. Hadn't maybe done that yet. Skinning. Gold. Uh, wood. Stone. Definitely want to move up. Uh, definitely do this one first. To get the mule. Spending two of those to ah to summit. I've got to get past him. Interesting. Is it worth it? It's not worth it. Just sending him there. I think I just spent to get myself a cart. That's it. Bring them all back. He's trapping nothing. Right, dumpf, dam, nothing, no digging, now they're going to be digging next, rabbit on the next turn, okay, definitely want food, very little difference. Apart from, we don't want to give him a rabbit. Okay. Ugh. I think I'd rather take wood, actually. Oh, he's not going to get it anyway. Right. That, that, and that. Okay. Uh, this time we go. Tricky. It's sending him here first. Two bits of wood. Dig up the card, gain the gold because the cabin action I just triggered. Don't need the dynamite. Goes there. Um, spend the resource. I don't think I did that. Let's spend food. The fifth card out. Uh, two food. Can't dig at the minute. Let's now send them up. And he goes across one position. That's a lot of boat boot movements. 
Two points to one point. Could do it to trigger the last round. Let's do it. One. To the top. Or. Leave them here. Send two by doing this one and this one and that one. To do the random three. Done them from that. He goes here. Wood. I dig it up. Spending ah oh, two resources. I've got nothing else. Um. Do I go and dig it up? Before I decide on that, I go up here first, which is going to be this one. No, oh, I haven't got the right stuff. Blast. Got nothing right. Nothing's useful. So I dig. I've got so much other stuff. Dig up that, spending two resources, getting that card, and chucking it here. And I think this would be the last but one round. Boom. It gets nothing. These come back. Uh, and then he goes. Does he get... He does, obviously. So he saves the top, moves, uh, digs. Does triggering last round. Gets this card out, the final card. Um, done that. So he took the card, he goes to the top on the right. I would say that's the rightmost card. And then it digs again. Okay. I take the rabbit, I'll spend my one resource, gain a rabbit, and then it's going to be fox next. Last round. Three cards gone. Got two. I'm going to take a random card from here. Need to get some cards. One card. He's not trapping. Gaining a cart, loading a cart, must go there. Don't need the dynamite. Shovel, and uh, to get gold. Five points, or gaining probably more than that. And I get the wagon, excellent. Need the um, Do I need to move along the bottom? No. Do I need to do that? No. Well, it shouldn't make a massive difference. So let's just do two in there. Movement of one. Get a stone. Dynamite I've got. Pickaxe. Spend a resource. I need the mule. Yeah, I can do it. I need the mule, but I can't get it. I need him for that. I do not pickaxe. I gain two of them. He moves up. He gets that to get me the mule. He gets me that because I've just spent those resources to go up, which gives me more points. Um, I then have the mule to get myself the cart. If I've got the mule, spend those two to gain a cart. I then can't load the cart. It was a waste, so I don't do anything with that. Um, done that. I dig, might as well. Spend the two resources to dig, get the card. Just keep it for my pile. Oh. He goes up, spends two to move the wagon up to the last position. Um, I've still got the wagon. So that would actually be in there. And there's pointless me getting that. So there we go. Final round. What's he doing? He is going to be digging. He takes the leftmost thing. It's three points. That goes away. 
that recovers, but it's nothing that's going to happen. Uh, moves to the top and moves up grey one position. He gains a gold. I'll take a stone. Well, I need it. Okay, end of the game. What's my score? Let's have a look. So, minus three, minus six. Cancels each other out because I've got those things there. Um, I've then got uh, these cards. So, let's look through it. I've got basic cards. Basic cards. Basic. I have a dinch of those ones, right? So I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is thirty points. Thirty. Then all I've got left to do is the stuff here. Thirty. Uh, it's four, so that's forty-two. That would make it fifty-eight. Uh, 70. So 70 points uh, compared to, um, we've got here 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Uh, oh, more, 70, 76, because it's 6, two, uh, 3 for each one. So 76, 82, um, 88, 89, 90, 92. 92, we've got uh, 15 points, 15. Uh, I think I must have been on it. Uh, 15, 21, 22, and we have 22, 38. Um, hang on, 38, yeah. Uh, 50, 54. So it's closer. 54, and he's got three over here. 54, 62. So 92 to 62, much closer than the other games. So much more of a challenge. So there we are. Um, I do like it. It's nice having this kind of stuff, the back and forth, who's in a two-player game that is going for these um, particular cards because you do need that lantern if you want to get the extra bonus and the extra bonus is worth it when you can get potentially three extra uh, dark mining cards. Um, so that's cool. Um, the carts, of course, limited resource. Um, you can end up with loads of carts and then not end up doing anything with them. Uh, as what kind of happened here, you kind of want to get those carts early, even if you haven't got the gold. But that go that gold quickly snowballs as the game progresses, so that is something to bear in mind. Um, aside from that, uh, getting those carts a bit of fun. Didn't have to use those in the end, which is great. But we'll be packing away like it. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I think this is a good one. And if you're interested in version four, mode four, that's bandits. As you can imagine, once you've got the gold, lots of people are going to be seeing. But now it's been discovered and mined, people are going to be interested in capturing it and you want to be, you know, considering what those outlaws are going to be after. So, thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you liked it, hit the like video. And finally, if you have any comments, chuck them on YouTube. Maybe I made a couple of mistakes in terms of what I grabbed. Do apologise, it wasn't intentional. Um, and that's it. That's Sierra West Mode 3. Thanks again, and uh, looking forward to doing a, a playthrough as well. So we'll be able to watch people um, take their actions rather than obviously using Hastings. Cool, so, all the best. And this should be uploaded as with every video, typically in an afternoon in the UK. So take care, enjoy your day. Bye-bye.